Good afternoon everyone. A bit of a different vlog today. Um, apologies, we haven't done our usual one. We've been busy, tired and stressed for the last couple of weeks. Um, but we will try and get one out for you Wednesday. So um, I'm just doing a health update on this one about myself. And a few people commented on the last vlog, said, oh, are you okay? Because I mentioned about my treatments and people said, oh, are you okay? Are you better now? So I just thought I'd give an update. And I don't mind talking about this because you might know somebody that's going through something similar or um, somebody close to you. Um, so if you want to message me personally, that's fine. So back in 2013, um, on Halloween actually, I was diagnosed with breast cancer and I had six lots of chemotherapy and then I had a mastectomy, um, but it took three years for me to get my reconstruction. I had a battle with the NHS um, and to cut a long story short, um, we had to go to our local MP and he had to speak to the health minister to get it done. I don't know why that happened. So we moved to France in 2020 and in March 21 we bought this place and we started doing work on it and then we got to October, the day after our 25th wedding anniversary which we had planned to do a party and all sorts but but I hadn't been well. I thought I had COVID or something because we had the lockdowns and everything. Um, so I went to the doctor because I had a pain in my groin and I thought maybe I've got an appendicitis. Anyway, um, the doctor sent me straight to the local hospital. They did a scan, told me I had thrombosis. I had two clots. And um, they also said to me, your cancer's come back again which totally shocked us because when I had my cancer originally, I had my lymph nodes out and they told me no more risk. So I then got transported to Poitiers University Hospital, which is amazing there, uh, followed by loads of scans, bone marrow taken from my spine. Um, but I had lesions on my spine, my liver, um, they told me I had a tumour by the lung, which they couldn't operate on, and lesions, active cells around the stomach. Um, there's a, a covering, a bag or something, which had active cells. So anyway, I spent several weeks in hospital, um, two lots of chemo together every week, three weeks on and a week off, because it lowers your white blood cells. Um, and then when they come back up there, they gave me injections to bring them back up and then start me on another round. And so I ended up, by the time I came out, I couldn't walk. I'd lost all my muscle tone because I wasn't allowed out of bed because of my back. Um, they thought I might have to wear a corset. And I ended up with two bed sores, which took months to heal. And then they sent me home just before Christmas, 2021, and Rose had to put a bed in the Grand Salon for me because I, I couldn't get upstairs. I actually had to be carried out the car. And then I had to go back every week again for my chemo. But it, it was quite scary. I was scared to actually come out of hospital because I'd been in there for so long and I couldn't do anything. And um, then Charlotte said she was coming out to see me in March. So I set myself a goal that I'd get back upstairs by the time she came over. And I had a walking aid. So I used to do a few laps around the sofa and then the lounge. Um, gradually built my strength back up, but it's taken it took over a year probably. The chemo has caused some nerve damage. I get numbness in my fingers and toes, not as bad as it was. Um, but I also find it difficult to get up from sitting 
or anything like that um, because it's caused nerve damage in my buttocks and also I have to have two hormone injections every month right in the muscle my rump <clears throat> and I have a calcium injection every week the nurse comes here to do them so anyway um, I go for a scan and consultation every quarter so I had my consultation last week and the week before that I had the scan and I have to have a big blood test I have a blood test every month anyway just to make sure my white blood cells are okay and um, yeah the results are really good the tumour has probably shrunk now by or tumour markers have gone down by 75% and I haven't got any more active uh, cancer cells at the moment touch wood um, yeah so the, the drugs do have a side effect it can affect my balance and sometimes I feel tired um, but but the whole process, the build up to that every month is quite stressful and when you come out, even though it's good news, you feel tired, it's like all the energy is drained from you. So it takes us a while to pick ourselves back up, but during all this process, um, Rose was coming to the hospital to see me every day for seven weeks and then we had to go back every week for seven months and I couldn't drive. And I, I lost my confidence a bit. Um, it's better now, but I still don't have the confidence to do a long um, drive, a long journey on my own. And um, it, it's taken its toll on our, our business and working here, which is why we're not getting all the work done that we had intended. It's, it's crucified it really, and it's crucified us really. So. That's where we're at, we're at, really. If you watched any of our earlier vlogs, you'll notice that my voice was very quiet. And the reason was that I totally lost my voice um, for weeks, months, actually. And it's taken a while to get that back. I still get a dry throat and coughing. But hopefully um, that's improved. Well, it has Im improved a lot and we've got our microphones now. Um, I've, I've also got dry eye, I've just found out, because my eyes stream all the time. So that's another side effect of the drugs. So in answer to your question about am I better, um, it's, this isn't curable, but it's being controlled and I hope it stays that way. That's, that's all I can say really. And I hope I haven't rambled on too, too much, but um, we'll see you on Wednesday anyway with the normal vlog. Thanks for listening. Bye.